All right, Laura, we are about to play the most Googled rescue dog question Google yeah. off game extraordinaire. I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but are you ready to play? I like that one. Can I see the questions no, first? No, no, no. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> Why do rescue dogs pee in the house? Uh, probably for a couple of reasons. They might be anxious. Um, they might have learnt to pee on hard surfaces or they may not have been toilet trained. So when dogs are in a pound, they're on a hard surface. The only wear, place that they can wee and poo is on that hard surface. Yep. So that's what, all they know. Um, and also they haven't been toilet trained. So you've got to apply some patience and consistency to get them ready for their new life. Ding, 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 you have a point on the board. Um, okay, why do rescue dogs sleep so much? Um, well, I mean, <laughs> They don't all sleep so much. Uh, a lot of the time when a dog has been so hyper-stressed out, being in a pound with no consistency or predictability in their life, it's really exhausting. Why don't you tell me about it? So often dogs, when, when they get into their new home, they'll just plonk and sleep um, once they find their safe space. So it's really important to give them that safe space and time to let them decompress. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, another point. Why do rescue dogs have underbites? Ah, so a lot of dogs uh, through Probably backyard breeding, irresponsible breeding, neglectful breeding, shall I go on, um, <laughs> will end up having some sort of um, structural features that are probably quite cute to us. Uh, and so those dogs are more heavily bred because there's more of a demand for that really cute mm -hmm. sort of look. Um, but of course that can come with its own health problems later on. So, you know, it's really important for anyone getting a dog that you, you do your research and you know what kind of dog you're getting if you are going to get a puppy. But if there's a dog who's already alive in a pound who needs love, who has an underbite, give him a chance. Yeah, love it. Another point for you. <laughs> um, do rescue dogs remember their past? Yeah, so PTSD is a thing for dogs. They do remember certain things, and that could be a bad experience with a particular person or a particular mm. environment. Um, there's so much that goes on in a dog's life, especially the first sort of 16 weeks of their life. So if those, that period, those first few months are really, really awful, that carries through with them forever. So that's not just about rescue dogs. That can be a puppy that you get from a breeder. Um, it could be any sort of dog, but it's, it's so important to let dogs work within their pace and their limitations and give them that patience that they need. Beautiful answer, another point. Do rescue dogs know you saved them? Um, who knows? I think dogs know kindness and they know an open heart and if you are generous with your time and your patience and your respect to a dog, they latch on to you and they'll never ever let you go. And I think that's some sense of gratitude but it's also the fact that Dogs need us to survive, and if you're kind, then they're not going to let you out of their sight, which which makes sense. Beautiful. Um, do rescue dogs bond with new owners? Absolutely they do. Probably in, in some ways more so. A lot of these dogs who experience severe anxiety uh, need that predictable controllability in their life, and if you are that person, they really, really heavily bond with you. And I know from my own experience and, and people that rescue dogs, they often say that dog has just rescued me right back. Stunning. Do rescue dogs have more health problems? Uh, no, not necessarily at all. That's a that's a big myth to dispel. I think a lot of people think that a, a rescue dog is damaged physically or emotionally. Most dogs end up in pounds through no fault of their own. So that's a really important thing for us to remember that, you know, every dog deserves a chance. These dogs are already there waiting for a forever home. Open up your heart and your home to them. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, final question. Laura, can <laughs> rescue dogs live with cats? Yeah, I mean... But, I love these questions because it's all sort of all dogs, all rescue dogs can live with cats. Well, it, it really depends on the cat or it depends on the dog, it depends on the human. So if you've got the time and patience to test that, to see what your dog's capacity is to be around another cat and see how that cat feels, absolutely you can make that work. But once again, it's not about us all the time and what we want from the dog. It's so important that we give that dog respect and, and find out what they need in that family home. And if they've got a huge prey drive and they just want to chase a cat, that may not be the right match for you. So it's important to do your homework and um, make sure you're setting the dog, the cat and yourself up for success. Congratulations, you passed the rescue dog extravaganza yeah. extraordinaire game show. I'm a dog trainer. <laughs> Yay.